there's bound to be a report of the hit and run filed with the constabulary, and if, and if your father, the top cop, realizes that I subjected you to a stakeout and Conserve that we were almost about... Conserve your you're about to go through surgery, or not, depending on what you decide. Uh, the choice resides with Maximista. Why do you want me to make the decision? My cognitive skills are, are compromised with due to my pain, and uh, I, I sense conflict within the, in the staff, but I can't fully assess the situation, and... Oh, oh, go! Spinelli! Yeah, look, I... I trust you. He's clear on another pre-op workup. Okay, I need you to describe him and find out if Nurse Johnson is available. Yes, doctor. Wait a second. The patient hasn't agreed to surgery. Order you the as a surgeon. The patient's surgeon. spleen resembles a watermelon drop from the second floor window onto the sidewalk. Any questions? This doctor can't Watch be trusted. Watch it. There's Crowell. You know, you're starting to upset this one up yeah. His pain, I think, is getting worse. I'm going to page Dr. Drake. Mm. <laughs> Hold on, Smelly. No. Okay. okay, just do the surgery. Just do the surgery. Smelly? Get him prepped. Go on your. Oh, please, God. For once in my life, let this be the right decision. I will be waiting right here for you when you wake up. Okay, co contact Stone Cold and let him know that an unknown evildoer attempted to run us both down in an unidentified dark vehicle. I will tell him you saved me. I'll tell the whole world you're a hero, but not until I know that you're okay. Then you will be, because you have to be. I mean, who else could put up with me? I can't lose anyone else, Spinelli. You have to be okay. Should I wander into the void? Just tell Georgie to send you back. She'll know how much I need you. Promise? I will. Promise me. I promise. But just in case, should I... Wander into the void. Don't say that you're not going to come back. Just for, forget about the void. I've had plenty of serious heart operations. I know how this works. And don't get all cosmic when they tell you to start counting backwards. Just think of all the fun things you're going to get to do when this is all over. Okay, think think about the most amazing day of your life. Or, or someone that you love more than anything in the whole world. Someone that you want to live for. I shall. It's time to go. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The overlooked, the underappreciated spleen. Unlike the heart, once damaged, it cannot be repaired, so Mr. Spinelli will have to live without it. Scalpel? Did you check the liver? There might be a hematoma on a liver capsule. I will check all the organs in the exploratory phase. Clamp. Make sure you tie up that artery securely so it doesn't have internal bleeding post op. Take care of your own work, Nurse Crowell. Tractor. Nurse? Are you sure you didn't rupture the diaphragm? Get out of my OR. Nurse Crowell? You're going to explore the bowels, right? Nurse Crowell, leave this OR and consider yourself a report. Now! Go! Surgery was a success. It went very well. Apparently, how did the surgery uh, really go? Oh, yes. By all means, get a second opinion, especially from a nurse. After all, I'm only the surgeon who saved the man's life, but what do I know? Matthew Hunter is one of the most annoying and arrogant residents I have seen in a long time. But he is still a doctor and therefore deserves our respect. Your constant badgering in the OR was a major problem. So from now on, you will give him the respect he deserves, as will my entire staff. Do I make myself perfectly clear? Yes. As for his surgery... Dr. Hunter did a fine job. Mr. Spinelli should be up and about and into his usual antics in no time. Good. I'm glad that you were there. Just doing my job. So is it okay if I see him? He's resting, but be brief.
You know, Vicky's pretty upset with me, but I would have felt ten kinds of awful if the surgery had gone wrong because of me. I'm not sure I could have forgiven you either. fondest of dreams. You're not dreaming. And you're not dead. I'm definitely not angel material. Well, the jackal begs to differ. Please just sleep, Smiley, okay? I'll be here. <sighs> His favorite spiking. I'll get him on ampicillin for the fever and uh, check his vitals every 15. Yes, 15. Why every 15? Smiley needs rest to recuperate. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Let's just let his fever go up and he can go into convulsions and then die. Listen to me, you selfish jerk. If something happens to my friend and I can trace it back to you, your life as you know it will be over. 